Hey guys welcome to HRG Zone YouTube channel. And today I am gonna show you the top 10 best PC games for low spec PCs Intel HD Graphics 3000 2023. So sit back and relax. Starting off number 10. Call of Duty, Black Ops is a first person shooter game developed by Treyarch and published by Activision. The player assumes the role of a foot soldier who can wield various firearms, throw grenades and other explosives, and use other equipment as weapons. A player close enough to an enemy can kill with one knife blow. A character can take three stances, standing, crouching, or prone. Each affects the rate of movement, accuracy, and stealth. The player can drop to the prone stance from the standing stance while running and can momentarily sprint before stopping. The screen glows red to indicate damage to a player's health, which regenerates over time. Number 9 is Just Cause 2 is an action-adventure game developed by Avalanche Studios and published by Square Enix. Players control Rico Rodriguez, field operative of the agency, in an effort to overthrow the island dictatorship of Pano, an open world for players to explore. The game has three types of missions. Agency missions advance the story and are the game's main campaign, faction missions task players to assist the game's three factions, and stronghold missions task players to infiltrate government bases and liberate them for the factions. To advance through the campaign missions a player must earn Chaos Points, a progression system introduced in the game. Players earn Chaos Points for completing missions and destroying designated government property. Number 8 is Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, Conviction is a stealth action-adventure video game developed by Ubisoft Montreal and published by Microsoft Game Studios and Ubisoft. New gameplay features one of which is the Mark and Execute feature, which allows the player to mark specific targets, such as enemies or objects, and shoot them in rapid succession without manually targeting each one. The player can choose to prioritize these targets, so that, for example, he can distract one guard by shooting out a light in his vicinity and then take out another guard. Another new feature is the last known position, which occurs when the player breaks the line of sight of an alerted guard. This creates a visual silhouette where the guard thinks Sam is, allowing the player to flank his enemies. Number 7 is Prince of Persia the Forgotten Sands refers to a group of action-adventure video games developed and published by Ubisoft. The player takes control of an unnamed prince navigating environments set in ancient Persia. All versions incorporate platforming, magical powers often based on a form of time manipulation, and limited combat sequences. Prince navigating 3D environments using a combination of standard acrobatics and magical abilities. Threats include enemies in arena-style encounters, and traps which must be navigated. The prince's move set outside basic movement include climbing, a wall run to traverse gaps, wall jumping, balancing on beams, swinging from horizontal and climbing vertical poles. Number 6 is Darksiders is an hack-and-slash-action-adventure video game developed by Vigil Games and published by THQ. The world is split into separate locations with many areas initially inaccessible until later in the game. The center of the world, the Scalding Gallo, functions as a hub where war is given new objectives and paths to unlock new areas, many of which require the use of newly gained abilities to progress. Although war is initially limited to the use of his two-handed signature sword, Chaos Eater, he eventually obtains other weapons throughout the course of the game. He also has a scythe, which he uses as his other main offensive weapon. Weapons have different combinations of attack that can be obtained throughout the game. Number 5 is Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit is a racing video game developed by Criterion Games and published by Electronic Arts. Hot Pursuit lets players be either a racer or a police driver, and features a full career mode for both roles. The relationship between the cops and racers is described as, a dog chasing down a rabbit, the police being more powerful while the racers are faster. Each side has several power-ups including calling for roadblocks and radar jamming. 
According to Criterion the single player section is somewhere between 12 and 15 hours long. But with much replay value. The game takes place in a fictional location known as Seacrest County based on the West Coast subregion of the Western United States. Number 4 is Battlefield, Bad Company 2 is a first-person shooter video game developed by DICE and published by Electronic Arts. Player to control certain vehicles, including ATVs, APCs, tanks, and helicopters. On foot, players are given access to a variety of real-world small arms such as assault rifles and machine guns. Players can also jump, crouch, and sprint. They can carry one primary weapon and a pistol in multiplayer, or two primary weapons in single player, as well as grenades and other equipment. Players can fire from the hip, but zooming in and using iron sights. Reflex sights or telescopic sights will provide much better accuracy when shooting. Number 3 is James Bond 007 Bloodstone is a third-person shooter video game developed by Bizarre Creations and published by Activision. Bloodstone has a focus aim system that lets you accurately shoot enemy which is unlocked by taking an enemy with melee combat. Driving sequences also appear in the game. There is a multiplayer mode consisting of up to 16 players that will pit spies versus mercenaries. Alongside team deathmatch and other standard game modes there are massive objective-based battles where players have to work as a team to attack or defend various spy-themed goals. The player pilots several vehicle types throughout the course of the game. Number 2 is Alan Wake is a action-adventure game developed by Remedy Entertainment and published by Microsoft Game Studios. The player controls the eponymous protagonist Alan Wake, a well-known novelist who is going through writer's block. In the game, a darkness is taking over humans, animals, and objects. These enemies, dubbed the Taken, are murderous shadows that attack Wake, wielding weapons of their own, ranging from mallets and knives to shovels and chainsaws. They vary by speed, size, and the amount of damage they can take, and some can teleport short distances. Besides the Taken, the player must combat flocks of possessed ravens and animated objects. When enemies are close, Alan can perform a slow-motion cinematic dodge maneuver. And number one is... Limbo is a puzzle platform video game developed by independent studio Playdead and originally published by Microsoft Game Studios. The player controls the boy throughout the game. As is typical of most two-dimensional platform games, the boy can run left or right, jump, climb onto short ledges or up and down ladders and ropes, and push or pull objects. Limbo is presented through dark, grayscale graphics and with minimalist ambient sounds, creating an eerie, haunting environment. The dark visuals also serve to conceal numerous lethal surprises, including such environmental and physical hazards as deadly bear traps on the forest floor, or lethal monsters hiding in the shadows. Among the hazards are glowing worms, which attach themselves to the boy's head and force him to travel in only one direction until they are killed. So that's all guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video so please like this video and subscribe my channel and don't forget to notifications. So thanks again and see you soon on next video. And good, bye.